Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse Ray with awesome shit number one. This is my new entertainment news video blog. Uh, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about all kinds of stuff, like what new movies are out, what new movies I like, uh, new DVDs and Blu-rays that are coming out. Uh, sometimes music, sometimes comic books, a little bit of everything. So, there you go. This is going to be my first video for July 4th weekend. Hope you like it. So, the first thing I'm going to do here is talk a little bit about my favorite movies that are out right now. Uh, the best three movies in theaters. And first, I'm going to talk about X-Men First Class. Probably my favorite movie out right now. This is one of the best superhero movies I've ever seen. It lands at number five on my top ten best comic book adaptations ever made. It only comes down to the acting between James McAvoy as Professor X and Michael Fassbender as Magneto. They really add an interesting dimension to these characters that I've never seen before and the movie uses very spilling special effects. It never really bombards the film with them, which can be a problem in superhero films. And it drowns the superhero psychic power, uh, X-Men power in a real world situation in the Cuban Missile Crisis with Kennedy. And it's super well done, super compelling, really great film. My second favorite movie out right now is Super 8, written and directed by J.J. Abrams. This film is really a throwback to 80s Spielberg movies. In fact, Spielberg is a producer on this film, although J.J. Abrams wrote the film himself, although you wouldn't really know it. It feels just like one of the great 80s Spielberg movies in the sense that it's all about really believable, well-written characters going through really unbelievable, intense events. But it's very well acted. The kids are really exceptional. Kyle Chandler from Friday Night Lights is great as the dad. The effects are really, it's just really compelling and exciting. And actually has a lot of heart to it. The kids are all underdogs that you really want to believe in. My only problem with the film has to do with the alien at the end of the film. It's a little generic and a little disappointing, but other than that, I really can't say anything bad about it. A really exciting summer movie that a lot of people will enjoy, I think. Liked it a lot. And my third favorite movie out right now would be Kung Fu Panda 2. Jack Black returns in the sequel, of course, and he's great and funny as always. If you like the first one, you'll like this one. I liked it even better. I thought it was a little bit darker, the animation was a little bit better. The use of 3D is actually really well utilized, which isn't always the case, and the best part for me was having Dilly Oldman as the new bad guy in this one. Dilly Oldman is always great at anything he does, and that's no exception in this one. He plays an evil peacock who wants to take over China. Got lots of great philosophy in it, and it's great for the family and kids. A whole lot of fun. As kind of a side note, if you need a fourth movie to see, and you want something visual that explodes a lot, and you want to watch robots battling for two and a half hours straight, go see Transformers 3. It's fun. It's definitely the best of the three, which isn't saying a whole lot, because as movies, they're not that great. But the 3D is pretty impressive. And the action scenes are pretty crazy, and if that's the cup of tea, go check it out. Coming out on video this week is the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition on Blu-ray. It looks pretty amazing. It's exactly what you'd expect. Lord of the Rings looking great. 
My only problem with the release is that they split the movies into two discs again. Something that didn't need to be done on Blu-ray. Other than that, it's great. Also available this week on Blu-ray is the film Zafula, A Space Adventure. This was directed by John Fablo, guy who directed the Iron Man movies. He also wrote the movie Swinners back in the day. This is a great family action adventure. It's a lot like Jumanji. In fact, it's based on the board game that was designed by the same guy that did Jumanji. However, it's a much better film, a lot more exciting. The effects are better, and the utilities are way better. So we get acting from the kids without the Kristen Stewart in it really well. And my hidden gem of the week is a film from 1993 called Bad Boy Buddy. It's an Australian cult, dark comedy, although it's a lot more than that. It's a very intense film about a man who spends the first 35 years locked in his house by his domineering, abusive mother who convinces him that the outside world has been poisoned. She controls him and makes his life a living hell. He ends up going out in the world and affecting many people. It's a very intense, disturbing film, but it's also very hopeful and positive in some ways. It's just a great art house movie, and I think there's a lot going on for it. If you can handle some intense stuff, violence, you know, things like that, then give it a shot, because it's actually a very rewarding film that a lot of people haven't seen. My TV report this week, True Blood Season 4 starts back up on HBO. Lots of crazy supernatural soap opera stuff as usual. All the great characters are still there, only this time we've got witches added to vampires and werewolves. Lots of good stuff there. Also coming out on FX is Louis C.K.'s Louis Season 2. More great, dry, acerbic wit from Louis C.K. Awesome show. Still looks really funny. And coming out on Showtime is Weed Season 7. You can watch Nancy Botwin do more crazy antics all over the country. This time she's starting over in New York City. Still a great show, even though it's got a little bit off the rails, in my opinion. But it's still one of the best written and most entertaining shows on TV. And that's it for this week's awesome shit. This is just the beginning. I'm going to have a lot more stuff coming in the upcoming weeks. Lots of different features on different stuff. Music, television, comic books. A little bit of everything and of course lots of movie information. I'm just late. I'm just getting started with all this. So who knows where it's going to go in the upcoming weeks. Thanks for tuning in, I really appreciate it.